What is going on everyone, Chi Chi Jr. here coming back with another progress video on the One Defense Pure account and on today's episode we're going to be getting the Fire Cape. I've been super excited to film this, uh, I've been trying to train my range up to 75 which the account now has and now I'm able to use a Twisted Bow throughout the entire cave and I'm super excited. Um, as you can see here on the inventory setup I'm rocking uh, 100 purple sweets which I actually don't think is going to be enough, I might need to run back to the GE and grab a little bit more. But as of right now, 100 purple sweets using the blowpipe, um, the special attack is super good and the weapon itself is amazing. Um, it hits really fast and the special even allows me to heal. So it should be really good um, throughout the entire caves. Um, opting in for two ranging uh, pots, uh, six Cerebrus and a bunch of restores. Um, now, as you can see the arrows, I am using Amethyst and I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm not using Dragon. It's just really not necessary. Um, it, while it does increase the max hits with the Dragon arrows, Amethyst do just as good uh, throughout the cave so it's really not necessary um, to show a little bit off the stats i'm rocking 116 range uh, attack bonus which is really really great um, i actually could have used mithril gloves as the count does have it at this point um, but black dehyde vamps just offer a much higher range bonus and i'm trying to just get the um, do the most amount of damage throughout the entire cave um, to increase the prayer bonus as you can see plus 23 and that's all thanks to the zamrak miter Zamorak uh, Rope Top, Fury, and the Holy Sandals. Um, so it's actually a really good combination. And then for the range bonus uh, to maximize that, uh, Black Tea High Chaps, Archer's Ring, Black Tea High Vams, and the Twisted Bow. Um, switching between the two, uh, there's pretty close as far as the range bonuses. And again, uh, being able to heal with it is going to be one of the best things um, about the blowpipe. Um, so hopefully we can get this on our first attempt. I'm really excited um, to do this video and it's going to be a lot of fun. And by no means is this video supposed to be a how to guide on how to do the fight caves. To be honest, it's really just for you guys as entertainment and to show you guys um, how it is with a peer using a twisted bow throughout the entire fight caves. So hopefully this is going to be really fun. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Oh my god, please, 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 please. All right. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh my god. And I, oh! So really quick guys, I'm going to explain to you what's happened in this clip because I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of questions. Uh, I'm preparing myself for uh, wave 63 for one Jad spawns and I'm just knocking out the 360s. And for some reason I thought if I lure the 360 now in a safe spot, that's where Jad's going to spawn. 
and that's not how it works literally i'm going through all this work luring him in the safe spot and i'm taking him down making sure that i'm brewing up and this is where everything went down the toilet literally i'm super confused where jad went i see him on the other side i'm like oh shoot um, I'm trying to figure out what's happening. Boom, get hit by melee hit. I'm already at almost close to half HP, and now I have to worry about the healers not on full HP. And the round just really was bad. I'm just trying to figure out, panicking, eating brew, uh, you know, eating purple sweets, running around, not taking melee damage um, from the healers. And as you'll see in the rest of the clip, it just goes from downhill from there. All right, I already got three of them on. I just need to get one more, one more, one more. Oh my, my stamina, oh my God. All right, please, please tank. Please tank, please tank. Seru, mage, mage. Oh my. That's it, I'm not doing it. I'm done, I'm just so done. I'm not doing this anymore. All right, so this is my third attempt uh, at the fight caves. As you, as you can see here, inventory is looking really well. Uh, four brews left, a uh, ton of restores, a lot of purple sweets. So it's real simple. At this point, wave 58, uh, it's not looking too bad. I literally just knock out the 90. All I have to worry about is the 180, safe spotting it to the side, and then we're all good from here. This is where I do a huge mistake. I literally take my eyes off of the screen for maybe three, three seconds. I look back over and I'm dead and I'm like what the heck happened I actually had to take the video clip back to see what the recording was and for some reason I thought I could just easily just safe spot uh, the 180 behind the wall and it turns out that wasn't the case whatsoever so here I am Liddy just pondering <sighs> I have to take this and I have to literally do another fight attempt and I, I was thinking about giving up but I just said you know screw it one more time I think four times a charm. I'm just gonna make a run for it. I don't know. Please. Pre range, pre range, pre range. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I did it. I think I did it. Okay. 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 I think I did it. Just eat up, eat up, eat up. Let's take him out. So close. Is that KO? All right, all right, all right. Range, 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 range. All right, mage, mage. Okay, please, please, please. Range, mage, mage. So many zeros. Come on, please. Range. 
Another zero. Oh my. Range. So many zeros, please. Range, range, range. So, please, come on. Oh, is that it? Yes! 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 Woo! That's it. I did it. Boys. Oh my god. I did it. Fourth attempt. Fourth freaking attempt. Oh my god. So stressful. Literally, if you guys saw, that attempt was so crazy. I literally accidentally lured all four healers off the side. And literally, oh my god. Alright, let's see what the fire cape looks like on the one defense. Ooh, looking nice, looking fabulous. Oh, I'm so happy this is this is done. Four attempts later with the twisted bow and finally able to rock it, the fire cape. I'm just so, so, so happy. This just goes to show what the potential I have to lock on the account, what I can do with the account, what levels I can do in the future. Um, and like I said, a one defense peer can do everything a main account can, just it takes a little bit more effort, a little bit more time, but that's what I'm all about. Uh, showing off the accounts and what I can do with this. Uh, the next goals I have um, is to grind out the Castle Wars armor. I really would like to do that, you know, get that halo. I know the halo is probably the, one of the best in slots for a peer. Uh, let's grind that out. And then, you know, eventually do wilderness boss hunting giant mole uh, the twisted bow has so many i can do so many different things with the twisted bow and so much content um on a peer account that i feel like it's going to be really great for you guys you're going to have a lot of fun watching my videos um and actually i'm interested to see post i'd like you guys to send me some of your fashion scapes on some of your one defense peer accounts i i love fashion scape ever since 07 you know dressing up your account and making it look super cool and like wow i didn't know one defense could wear that or make it look like that um, so if you guys want, send me your uh, your fashion scapes on some of your One Defense peer accounts. I'll post it on my next video, and we'll do that as a highlight. At the beginning of my videos, I'll start posting um, you guys' um, uh, looks on your account, and we'll just keep doing that. Uh, I'll, the next video, I'll show off one of mine, uh, what my favorite fashion scape is on the account, and then we'll just go forward from there. So thanks you guys for watching. I really do uh, love doing these videos, and hopefully we can get some more going. Thanks.